we're going to create a color mix Venn diagram. And I have two colors here. Uh, and if I already animated them, you see that they cross over each other. And we want a third color to appear here when they intersect each other. Um, and so I have red and blue. Anchor points are centered. And we can do this with two more layers. I'm going to take the red, and I'll duplicate it. Control-C, Control-V. And I'll take the blue and I'll duplicate it, control C, control V. And now I'll move those both above the two original colors and let's rename them. Uh, the red is gonna become a matte, M-A-T-T-E. And the blue is gonna become our third, blue two is gonna become our third color. And so we'll call this color mix or color three, however you wanna say. And here in color mix, I'm gonna make sure that I change the color of this one so that I can tell what's happening in purple. Okay. Now, since these are already animated, uh, we're going to end up parenting them. We want to get rid of the existing keyframes. And so I'm just going to hit uh, P here and uh, turn off the keyframes on the top two layers. Great. Now I'm going to take my color mix and use that the top one as a track mat. And so I'm going to go ahead and say alpha mat. And you see that goes away. And now the mat is going to be driven by the red. And so I'll parent. Let's uh, fold these back up. So we just need to parent the layers. The mat will be a child of the red. And the color mix will be a child of the blue. And now when they intersect each other, the top one, which is invisible, is revealing the third one which is at the location of the blue. And so now we get this third color showing up when the two intersect each other. And now that they're parented, no matter what we do to the animation, whenever these two overlap each other, they'll be revealing that third color. And the third color doesn't have to be the correct color mix. Uh, it could be whatever color you set the color mix object to. Uh, so when they overlap each other, we reveal a separate color.